Communication through creativity is an innovative approach to addressing the emotional, psychological and spiritual needs of disenfranchised and traumatized children and young people. Towards the end of 2007, the Stratreel Foundation piloted their first synergy project in Cambodia. Cambodia suffers from being a post-conflict country. There was a dreadful war there throughout the 70s, and the aftermath of that has left it with very little infrastructure, very little by terms of health care or education, and it's really trying to survive still. On the streets of Phnom Penh, it is estimated that there are currently between 10 and 20,000 children being forced into child labor or the sex trade. On the Stung Men Chai municipal waste dump, children as young as seven work to feed themselves and support their families. Each day they risk their lives, scavenging through toxic waste for recyclables such as plastic and aluminium for as little as 25 cents a day. If you're coming from a situation where you've, you, you know war or you know hardship, um, you need a way to be able to express what you've lived in a way that is healthy and meaningful. The Foundation is in partnership with Learning Through the Arts, a Canadian charity that provides creative training to teachers and communities. The arts can be a powerful tool to work with communication and healing and that's why I think learning through the arts and its methods can be so powerful in developing countries. So many youngsters have had such a difficult time that they no longer believe that they have a future or any hope for that future. By training um, people who work with them to use the arts, whether it be painting or drama or music or arts in the widest possible form, it enables them to give these kids the chance to express themselves in ways other than with words. And by doing that, it helps them to dream, it helps them to look for a future, to see that there's hope for something that's different from the past that they've already experienced. Watching children in the classroom when they're being taught properly and engaged is just amazing. It's so uplifting to see. They're like little sponges. They sit transfixed and just absorb it all. And the difference by just giving a Cambodian child something that stimulates them is incredible. It's amazing to watch. They need healthy ways to, to talk about uh, the difficult things that, that are happening to them, to talk about the, the struggles that they grew up with with their parents trying to find food. They need a way to express that so that they can become active participants in the future of their community and the future of their, their country. I really believe that the arts can be effective in helping those students and those young people um, transition into a healthy adulthood. The most amazing results have been achieved simply in the very short pilot project that's already been undertaken in Cambodia. We asked the children at one NGO what they hoped to be for the future. What did they think they would be in the future? And the list was amazing. Kids wanted to be doctors, nurses, engineers, architects. All of the children in this NGO, having worked with communication through creativity, had hopes and dreams for a future that was miles removed from where they are today. The pilot project has proved that communicating through creativity really does improve the lives of underprivileged children. Partnerships and entrepreneurial spirit is key to the success of these projects. Continuing to achieve this synergy is an exciting and unique way of giving our children a better future. Cambodia, Cambodia, Cambodia.